G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now we're going to take a deep dive into two features of Microsoft Loop that have recently rolled out. One that has been talked about and wanted and requested um, for a long time, pretty much ever since Loop has come out. And that, that is the ability to create Loop components inside of Microsoft Teams channels. So we're going to dive into that first. Then we're gonna have a look at how we can export our loop tables from your loop workspaces or your loop pages to Excel. So let's have a look at loop components in Microsoft Teams channels first. You can see that I'm in the monthly reports channel of the sales and marketing team. Now I'm just gonna start a new post here and what you will see now is we've got this uh, button here or this icon here to create our loop component inside of this channel. All right, so let's just give this a title and then we will create a new loop component. Now, where is this loop component going to be stored? As we know with the other loop components that we create in one-to-one -one chats and group chats, then they are stored in the OneDrive for business of the person that created that component. Now, where are these going to be stored? Let's have a look. So what we're gonna do, Let's just start a uh, checklist, all right? So let's pop in a checklist. You can see um, that we have just embedded that into our post. And let's just give this a name called our checklist. Uh, and let's just go item one, item two, item three, and we will be good to go, all right? So here's our component, here's our checklist. Let's post this, all right? So now being posted, inside of our channel and there we have our component. So where's this going to be stored? As we know, a loop component is just another file type. So let's just jump in and have a look at, at our files tab. Is it going to be inside of here? Yes, it is. As we can see here, we've got our uh, .loop file that's now been stored in the files tab of this particular team or this channel even. So remembering that every single um, uh, Microsoft team has a SharePoint site sitting behind uh, that is storing all of the files. Every single channel has a folder. So this loop component is actually in the SharePoint site. So let's open this up in SharePoint and let's just double check and we can see here that we do have our loop component or our loop, our dot loop file located inside of this folder that's inside the document library. Now let's just jump back into here. Um, we can also pin to the top if we want to, so we can just treat this like another file uh, that resides in our. Um, in our document library, all right? So there's our uh, loop components inside of Microsoft Teams channels now, uh, and the files are stored in the SharePoint library uh, behind the scenes. Now, let's take a look at how we export or how we can create, uh, take our tables out of a, a loop page into Excel. So I'm just gonna open up um, the uh, a loop workspace here. Uh, it's just the getting started workspace and we've got the next steps page here. We can see that we've got a table here of next steps, three columns, what, how, and the progress. If we click our six little dots here next to this component of this table, we now have the option to export to Excel. Now, when we click this, it is getting things ready and it's going to be, and we're going to be uh, redirected to the Excel file once this has completed. So that's just ticking away there. Uh, I do have the pop-ups blocked, so I am just going to redo this. So let's now click and go export to Excel. And again, we're holding tight. It's gonna be ready in just a second. We're gonna be redirected to our file. You can see it's opening up in the browser here. And I've got my untitled one.xlsx. And here is my, um, my exported data from that table. Now, where does this file live? All right, so let's have a look. We'll click on the file name up the top and you can see that this actually gets stored and exported and created in the user's OneDrive for business. So we can now um, name this file. So we'll go exported from loop 
and we'll hit the enter button. That's now renamed uh, this file. Now we'll also just jump in to documents and let's have a look at where it's located. As I mentioned, it's going to be in OneDrive for Business. Now, what we might do is let's just have a look down here and there is that spreadsheet, the Excel file located in, uh, in this case, Megan's OneDrive for Business. So there we go. Two features and two new functionalities or capabilities of Microsoft Loop, the ability to create our Loop components inside of Microsoft Teams channels now with its file or that Loop file, the dot loop file and the components stored in the uh, in the SharePoint site that's sitting behind the Microsoft team. And also, as we just saw, the ability to export your tables from a loop page into Excel, and that is stored in your OneDrive for Business. Thanks for watching. See you next time.